Hi friends and welcome back to Blue Mill Home and Garden. It is Kim here. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse. I produce weekly videos on everything home and garden. That is everything from raising chickens to a lot of DIYs and organization. And today we also have an, another organization video. So if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you will be notified when I post a new video and you can follow along in our journey here at Bloomwell Home and Garden. Today we are going to be doing a car organization. That is why I'm here at the back of my car. I recently took a road trip and I, um, I like to head to the big city about once a month and uh, head out there. There are my favorite shopping places like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Trader Joe's, those kind of things. And I also recently took a road trip with my husband and my grandchildren and we are out for the whole day and I realized just how unprepared I was in the car and that is shocking because I try to be very prepared and I guess this is just you know in the winter time I don't go very much and then it switched to summer and I hadn't stocked the car yet and I love everything about our car except that it lacks really good storage and so I recently picked up some things from Amazon and this video is not sponsored in any way but I just needed some more organization and picked up these items and today I'm going to unbox them with you and we're going to check them out see what they're like uh, hoping we got our money's worth for them and fill them up with the things that I need from the car. I'm going to show you the current situation of the car and then I'm going to show you my must-haves and then we're going to use our new items and get organized. And if you are following along and you have some must-haves that you must have in your car, please share them. And if you have any great hacks for organization in the car, please share those too. I do have a couple good hacks for you in creating better storage in your vehicle. So let's get into this video and get started. All right, well, here is my current trunk storage, and my bag is very old. I've had it for a very long time. As you can see, it's not supported anymore, and so easily when I turn, things just kind of fall out into the back, and it's not sorted or organized. There aren't additional pockets in there, so I have our picnic or stargazing blanket and I also have these raincoats in here. I have some gardening gloves and several of these cloths and these plastic bags in case I forget to bring the doggy doo-doo bags or you have a wet suit or trash in the car. I have my bungee cords in case I'm bringing something that I have to tie to the top or uh, along the back I have to tie that down. And then we have our toe straps for our our trailer, our tie downs, and I have some cups. And then all my extra reusable bags are in here. So they're not really kept organized or out of the way of other things. I have additional water in case I have to wash something off and more claws that are not organized. I have a couple of these zip strips. You know, if something breaks, you got to tie it back together. And of course, jumper cables. Here I have a little cooler I keep in the car and I have some bug spray and some screwdrivers. I try to be prepared should something break. But here is my big problem. I get into trouble in the front seat because I don't have storage there and I just have this little spot between the seats. And uh, you know my sunglasses have nowhere to go and they're there and then you see my phone charger cord is in the way and I'm always trying to dig out my Kleenex and, you know, trying to get them out without uh, going down the road and taking my eyes off the road. And then this little gadget holds my little post-it notes, so I have them in there. And I'll try to find that and link it down below. I really like that. But then this council is deep, but it's not very wide. And so there's tons of stuff in there just, just chopped full. There is hand sanitizer, comb, nail file money, gum, all of those things. And then this little bag I keep in the back at all times. It's Nicole Miller from TJ Maxx. That center section is a cooler so I can put a little ice pack in there and pack my waters for the day. And I always have some meal replacement bars or some snacky items in here in case I'm on the road and it's dinner time. I can grab something and stay within my budget and it's healthy. And on this side, I always have nuts. I have pistachios and almonds and good things in there. 
And then down here, I like to keep an extra pair of shoes in the car. I like to hike. I have my extra bags. And on this side, in this pocket, I keep extra water for the dogs and their leash should they um, be with us. But this trash, that's a problem in my car because um, I usually have a plastic grocery sack, but there's no place to put it. So it gets tipped. It gets a hole in it. It gets lost in the car. And so I really needed help with storage, like my umbrella. I like it on the other side down between the seat and the door. But if it's there, I can't reach it if it's raining on the other side of the car. If it's on the seat, then it flies off the seat when I stop. So I need storage for that. My mom bag, completely packed with everything I may need, snacks, Kleenex, all of those things. And I keep that ready in the car. So if someone's picking me up and I'm going with them, I have everything I need. Or if I drive to their house, we take off from there. I'm all set and ready to be totally prepared to grab my bag and go. Amazon box. I've got my little knife. I can't wait to get in there and see all these little things that I ordered. Let's check it out. Well guys, if you remember me talking about the front seat and how I get in a lot of trouble because there just isn't adequate storage for pens and pencils and sunglasses and phone chargers and all the things that I feel I need in the front seat. This is my first product that I ordered and it is from High Road and it is a swing away compact seat organizer and um, it says keep driving essentials within easy reach and clutter under control. That is definitely for me. And it has a lot of uh, different storage as you can see here it's just supposed to fasten around the headrest. Um, it's got a padded pocket for tablets and a couple other divided pockets and glass pockets and I'm just going to use it for all the things I need. Um, so I can't wait to get this opened up and checked out. The second thing I purchased was this trash can and it is um, fabric. It's going to attach between the back seats on the, the thing that opened up in the front, what do you call that, the center console, it's going to attach to that, but be in the back right there. It's gonna be fastened, so it's not gonna end up all over the car and I'm not gonna be able to find the trash. So if I'm driving, I can just reach behind me and put the trash in the trash bag. I don't have to cram it down in my door. And the third item I ordered was this back seat trunk organizer. It um, has several pockets and it spans across the back of the seats of your second row or third row seating. And it's going to be hanging from, again, the seat rest holders and uh, the headrest, that thing. And it's going to hang down. There are lots of areas for storage because it is wide and short so it's going to leave the floor of your car free which i'm going to love because you know when you go grocery shopping your groceries are on the back of the floor and they're not hang you don't hang them over the seat so every time you go to the store if you have things on the floor in the back you constantly have to move them around that's not always a pleasant experience and again you know with my bag with the soft sides of course everything tips and falls out and the groceries don't stay in there either so these are the three items that I wanted to start with. I think there's a few more things that I would like to get for my car, but I'm just excited for these three. I thought that these three would tackle my biggest problems. Let's get them in the car and get them checked out. So as I'm unpacking this bag, I'm kind of checking it out and it's a nice heavy canvas material and there's straps here and these are the clips. Supposed to this is going to just install really fast and simple. It is quite large. There's lots of pockets. It has Velcro down here, and that's gonna Velcro to the back of your back seat. And so we're gonna climb on up in here and just see how easy it is to install this, see how long it takes me to go ahead and get it clipped in here. I'm sorry you can't be up close and see, but literally that's it. Less than a minute to install it. I'm just gonna press the bottom against the back of the seat and there it is, it's 
adhered to the back of the seat so it's not going anywhere and now I'm just going to check out these pockets there are this large pocket and it is expandable so it it's pleated so it folds out and I just want to show you up close these uh, clips and the pockets as best I can now there's velcro and the lid and there's velcro on the front of the pocket so that's going to help the lid stay closed and everything stay in there this is again quite a large pocket I really like it it's pleated so there's you know about four inches along the bottom so that's how much room there is down in there that's the big pocket there is this big round pocket it doesn't have a lid but it is a big pocket and then there are two of these one on each end there it is completely installed the entire thing so it's it's the length of my back seat and we're going to see how things fit in there now initially i went ahead and put my bags in there i have my bungee strips this one on the far left i decided to use this as my little tool kit so i have um, my gloves the rags which i should put in a a ziplock and i will do that and then i have my raincoat so this has kind of been my my little if the car breaks or i have to get out i have all the things i need there i have my screwdrivers in there my zip ties my bungees are in that big thing in the middle that that big round pocket and then the big pocket has the the cables and some bags and now I'm just moving on to the front seat and I have my clip and this also is very very quick to install it's totally adjustable so you can put the little storage area where you want it to rest on your seat now I want to share with you my must-haves that I need in my car. I have, I have our swimsuits because we are often um, going because, to you know, the hot go tub to or we're at a friend's house and they want a hot tub or they have a pool or, the or we're out so, um, cruising around know, and we want to jump in a kayak. You know, sometimes we and then I just have extra clothes, warm clothes for me because I'm always cold. I have some yoga pants, long sleeve shirt, and socks, a hoodie, and then I have a lip roller. I also have some first aid things. I, I, have have I have some vinyl gloves because if you ever come up out of accident or one of your kids gets hurt just in and, case, or somebody else's um, kid somebody gets, hurt, gets hurt, I just or, like to have them on hand. Um, I have some band-aids. I have some I have some band-aids um, and some ointment first aid and things in there and then I have some toothpicks. toothpicks. Um, those and, are always great to have um, in your vehicle. Just miscellaneous first Next, aid things I have there. Some I have our picnic things. I have our cooler. And then I have and some wet wipes, wipes, Kleenex, some wet paper wipes, cups, some and cutlery. All of those things Kleenexes, that I have and then this is in uh, the car that so that when you stop and you get something to eat, you and then can I have, have some everything cutlery. you need right so handy. Have, then I have, I have bug spray, bug hand lotion. Every girl's got to have hand lotion in the car. Hand lotion sunscreen is essential for a girl. and hand sanitizer, of course, hand in the car. Sanitizer and and of course, Kleenex needs to be in the car. I have and then just the personal comb, items, nail file, comb, hair ties, nail file. My sunglasses, sunglasses, of course, that we talked I about have before. Some gum and um, healthy snacks. snacks that are readily I available and, and ready um, to my grab water additives. to keep me on track. And, and then my um, car charger, of course, we need umbrella, that. The umbrella, the umbrella, as I talked and about. And then also, case, in this little bag, there, I like to keep a little battery-operated um, so headlamp and one of those multi-function kind of tool tools with nice to pliers. So All those guys, little things in there. Screwdriver, so in you can car. totally fix anything you need to. I'm also going to share So these you. are my must-haves, and we're going to see if we can shrink them down. Oh, don't let me forget to talk about my pens and paper. Got to have that handy and my I'm scissors. But first, I want to show you a quick hack on how to make these clothes smaller to fit in your car. Because if you've got to have clothes for kids and a lot of them, you just don't have that kind of extra room in your car. So first of all, I do want to show you a hack for making clothes smaller to fit in your car. The first thing I do is I take a Ziploc bag 
and I take my clothes and I just want to say that I did have the wrong Ziploc bags this time. These are the stand-up ones that are pleated. This works much better with your traditional Ziploc bags and save yourself some money if you're going to be doing this for car storage then go ahead and pick these items up at the dollar tree because that's going to save you a whole bunch of money getting them at the dollar tree and then you won't feel so bad about using your expensive bags in your car but once you have everything folded up as you've seen i i put out that bag you don't want anything folded wider than the bag once you have everything in the bag, you're going to zip the bag, but not all the way. You're just going to zip it that far, and then you're just going to press and roll. And then even your little Ziploc bags can become like space saver bags. You see how thin and lightweight this is once you get all the air out of these and also you can label them for per kid so if the kids have to get their own clothes out of the car they can do that and this is great because you know when you go somewhere your kids always want to spend the night and you've got to have extra clothes and there you are so i've got my basket of all my must-haves for the front seat my lotion my umbrella uh my sunglasses i have a couple utensils that in case I want to eat a salad or what have you and then um, my gum pens pencils all the miscellaneous things and I am already loving this bag look at how well everything is just fitting in its own little space now this was the smallest bag they had and this was I think 9 by 11 I'll try to post down below um, what exactly the size is they had these much larger they had i mean if you have a home office in your car or just you know as moms you just need more room for more things on the front seat then um they do have much larger ones and this also has handles on the side and that's what makes it swing away you just grab that handle ever so lightly you just swing it around and it goes around to the back seat now I want to show you another trick here. I'm going to do the same trick that I did with the clothes. I'm just going to fold up all my extra bags that I want in the car. These little storage bags come in handy for everything, right? You know, wet clothes, trash, dog doo-doo, whatever you have to put in them. So this is just a quart size Ziploc and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just rolling up my bags and putting them in there rolling it up flattening and this is like whisper thin this is like paper thin and it has like eight bags in there so in the last pocket i'm putting all our clothes and i'm putting in the bug sprays and the suntan lotion or and then i ended up putting my charger cables in there and i actually found this in my mom bag this is my original uh, safety first aid kit so in the first pocket I have uh, eye wash and then band-aids and then alcohol and peroxide and cotton balls so now I'm revamping that center bag I have my bags the plastic bags my first aid kit and all of those things and without the battery charging cables in there it worked so much better and then I am putting back two toe straps not all of them, but again, I did the Ziploc bag trick and these fit in there. And there's a little pocket down in our lower corner of our car and they fit right down in there. So I just tucked them right in there. So we do have two of them and you can tie down most things with them. And then I refolded the blanket and got a bigger Ziploc bag. You can get these. I think they might be two gallon size at the dollar store for a dollar. I think there's 15 in a box. And so my blanket is now much flatter. It's completely enclosed. And I tucked it right in that center folder. And so then is our little cooler bag. And I have that if I buy something at the store or I fill it real quick if we're going to take a day trip. And in the front pocket is where I put the picnic supplies. But look at the front of the car, guys. Everything is clean and organized. Nothing is going to be flying around. That center console is almost completely empty now. Everything fit into my little storage bag. 
Look at it. I just love it, guys. This is a product that I am going to definitely be happy to write my Amazon review. Again, this video was not sponsored, but I am happy for this product. Definitely would use it again. Now, the last thing I have to address is that trash on the floor. And I showed you this trash can. You just open the console lid, put the strap in there, and then you just clamp it. I did put a plastic bag in there. This also has Velcro on the bottom, so it's sticking to the floor. It's not moving. There are side pockets for your passengers. And there you go. Everything is completely finished and taken care of. And I'm completely happy with how everything turned that out. That is it for this video. I want to thank everyone for coming along today. I am so happy to have all of these storage issues in my car resolved. And I could just think of all the ways you can use these products depending on the size of your family or your vehicle. And I will make sure that they are linked down below so that you can find them if you are interested in them. If you are not following me over on Instagram, be sure to head over there, Bloomwell Home and Garden, so that you can see more of the behind the scenes and daily life here on the farm. And if you have not subscribed, please do and ring the bell so that you can be notified of the next video. And until then guys, be blessed and be safe and I'll see you soon.